armpit here, and then I drive the body weight forward here. So underneath my arm, that's when I use that opportunity to cut the space and take my hand flat to his spine. So I step in, I get a nice strong angle, outside hand on the collar, actively pulling Shintaro off his shoulder, hand to the hip. You know. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up, I never you know give I'm it. gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. Higher. Okay. All right, so uh, so far, so far, these are all have been great. They started from the outside position here. Uh, another way uh, that you can use a knee cut is after you have established a chest to chest half guard position. So rather than you know kind of ending up in a position where we're here in a kind of a headquarters, sometimes, especially if your partner's really good at defending this, you'll find that it's easier to, for you to work on the half guard. And forcing the half guard involves just just what we were doing. Here. So you've got your knee in position, we'll take our left leg, bring it over the top, and then from here we're going to walk our partner's legs together, we're going to pinch our knees, tilt our hip, and then as he goes to post and frame here, we're going to take our left arm back, punch our arm through, and the second hand, even though he's got this frame in place, we're going to go elbow to elbow, and as he goes to lock up a half guard here, we're going to keep our chest towards our partner's chest, and we're going to focus on cross-facing our partner directly from here. You're going to lock your hands, and then from here you're going to walk until you can free your knee. So as he goes to hold, he uh, uh, trap my leg above the knee here. I'm gonna walk, walk, walk until it's possible to free this right leg. Now, in a situation like this, normally we would be looking to melt, but sometimes it's very difficult to do that. So we're gonna move up into a tripod position, then we're gonna sweep our two legs out in this direction. Now we're in a, a it's, it's essentially a knee cut position, but we have direct control over our partner's head and we have a very strong underhook. We're gonna take our head bring it forward, place it on the mat. And now, as Nick goes to kind of frame and move around and all these things, we've got a free leg. We can use that to help to free our leg. From here, we move directly up to the shoulder line and we're ready to pass. So instead of using the knee cut out of the headquarters position where we're at our partner's knee line, we start by going into a, a half bark position. So out of any situation here, Nick maybe reaches with that right leg. And instead of trying to knee cut directly, we're gonna force a half guard position. We move into chest to chest. If there's a frame in our way, a lot of times from here we can pull it down, push it up, clear it out of the way, and then move our body forward into a position that looks like this. From here, we walk with the goal of freeing our knee. If we need to, we'll take our forearm back, push our partner's leg down, and start to drive to the mouth. Nick's a good man, knows what's going on, he's not gonna let me pass, so we're gonna tripod, cut the legs back in this direction, and now we have the ability to create a cross face where he's looking to his left, but his knees are pointing to his right. This is gonna make it very difficult for him to hold on. We take our second leg, push, free our leg, and then from here we can sit through and move directly up to the shoulder line. So it's not anything uh, different in the, in, in the sense that it's a, still a, a knee cut, but the position that we're starting from is a little bit different, okay? And sometimes you're not comfortable staying in front of your partner's knees or you find yourself in the half guard. And um, it's just a reminder, you can still use the knee cut because it is such a powerful position as, uh, as we've talked about to, uh, to get past your partner's guard. It's just a different starting position. So a little variation for everybody. Yeah.